Mark, from what we can tell, the abstention rate in this first round vote this Sunday could well be one of France's lowest. Yes, it could be a record low turnout in the Fifth Republic. Uh, the estimate was uh, that we got was 68 percent, meaning over two thirds of people not casting a ballot uh, today. Uh, one figure we already had that uh, Claire mentioned is that the 5 p.m. Uh, turnout and it's 26.7 percent. What's interesting is when you compare it to the last regional election back in 2015, at 5 p.m., the turnout was 43 percent. So you have a huge uh, difference, uh, 17 percent point uh, difference. And uh, the lowest turnout for a regional election was back in 2010, with it was uh, 39 uh, percent. So clearly, uh, people uh, stayed home, stayed away. Uh, there are many reasons. Uh, yes, it might be the beginning of summer, but it's also, and let's not forget, those elections were supposed to happen a year ago, but because of COVID, because of lockdown, it happened uh, today. Uh, that being said, uh, people uh, were able to take off their mask today for the first time in some eight months. There's no curfew anymore. So it's also very possible, in addition to uh, the feeling against politicians that we have been seeing in previous years, that there is a kind of a special uh, environment uh, about this election due to the pandemic, the end of the restrictions, meaning people are thinking more about their dinner party tonight than about uh, who they're going to vote for today. And more widely speaking, Mark, just what is at stake at this election? Who is looking to pick up what? And in general, what does it all mean? Well, it, it means a lot and not much, if you want. A lot because all the parties are, are looking at this. Uh, the far right national rally has never won a region and they're hoping to win one. Uh, where Claire uh, spoke from, the PACA region is probably their best chance. We'll know next Sunday because there are two rounds in that election. But if they win, this will be a major breakthrough for uh, the national rally. Uh, the presidential party, Emmanuel Macron, they have virtually no chance of winning even one region because it's a new party. Uh, they have very, very few local elected officials and you need them uh, in such uh, elections. And for the traditional left and the traditional right, they hold the majority of uh, the regions. Uh, they're hoping that they will maintain their gains. But uh, the truth is, it doesn't mean much for next year presidential election, which is essentially now a uh, rivalry between the incumbent Emmanuel Macron and the far right leader uh, Marine Le Pen. Emmanuel Macron is hoping uh, to do as much damage control as possible, but turn the page saying this is a regional election. Let's look at, uh, at the main, the mother of election, the presidential election. Marine Le Pen is hoping uh, to say, OK, I'm here for real. I'm not just a presidential candidate. I'm the head of a party which has local anchorage, which is able to win those regional elections. And so this will be a very, very interesting to watch uh, tonight and next Sunday. OK, Mark Perelman, our political editor, thank you very much.